Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. Looks like you guys are up next. May 20th through the 26th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? What do we have for Pisces? This is a celebration of some sort. This is happiness, joy, friendship, socializing, partying, having fun, having fun. Mm. Oh, Ace of Cups. That's real. That's beautiful, right? I mean, that's love. That's problem. Divided loyalty. There could be a third party situation, you know. Somebody may have divided loyalty. They gotta make a choice. Which 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 way do you want? What do you want? Which what's it gonna be? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. This is abundance. Security. Stability. Living a good life. Ooh, new beginning. One phase of your life is over. Somebody has made, or it's about to be over. This is a this is a life lesson. Somebody has learned some sort of lesson. This is denial. This is denying the truth. I mean, two of swords. That's what that is. It's uh, delaying as well. So somebody could have been blocking their happiness. Anyway, we're going to get some more. Ooh, thinking about going back or thinking about leaving. But they get, then again, that makes sense. Next to this two of swords, you know, you have to make a choice. What are you going to do? You, you, hmm, there's a decision here and you have to choose. Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? You don't know. Ooh, there you are. Mastering your emotions. Full of love. looking for love perhaps i mean it's like you, you got that love and you're it's like you're ready you're ready for love or you're offering your love to somebody somebody is if you male or female somebody this is a huge offer of love i mean this is a new love okay it's a new could even be i don't even know when i'm gonna go there but this is love this is love so we got somebody here that knows that this is love very intuitive this is communication going back and forth. This is open and ready for love as well. <laughs> there is love. So anyway, this is communication going back and forth. We have a major new beginning here that could make somebody really happy. Now that is reunion. So I don't know if you're having a reunion or you're going to a reunion. Golden opportunity. Opportunity of a lifetime. Look at that. Look at that. Love and money. Love and abundance. This is this is a I mean it is. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Big, big, huge opportunity, put it that way. But somebody is reluctant, they're restricting themselves, they're reluctant to make this decision and go after it. Maybe because something has already ended, there's an ending here, or it's something's coming to an end, maybe it's just the strife in your life. I mean, this is big, okay, we have a 10 here and a 10 here, so there's a completion of a cycle. A completion of a cycle. If you have been struggling and you have felt like you are at rock bottom, I think that's about to change, all right? Um... Yeah, you, you could be receiving money from somebody or something. I mean, this is something that you can touch. This is, a, this is something you can take to the bank. It's something solid. It's something stable. It's something long-term. So, and this is extreme abundance. 
something very secure, okay? And emotionally fulfilling. So this looks really, really good, but we do have an issue. Somebody has to make a decision. This is a decision, a choice needs to be made. Which way to go, you know? Do you stay or do you leave? Do you go in this direction or do you go in that direction? I mean, that's what we got here. So... It looks like somebody is deciding if these are the rods of love. They're deciding to head towards love, to follow their heart. So somebody is deciding to follow their heart. And when they do that, they're going to they're gonna receive. This is a gift. A gift, something stable, and it's a gift of love. So I don't know what the hell this is, but it looks good. It looks really good. <laughs> it's funny, I just barely... You're not even going to believe this shit. Anyway, I'm not even going to tell you, but, but I guess I have to now, huh? I just looked this card up just like this, just like 10 minutes ago. Now, this, this, somebody may want a reconciliation, all right? They're not telling the truth. I even, I mean, a t t is a I'm not even going to show you. I even put it as the background on my phone. Now that's the background on my phone, but it's upright, of course. Anyway, um, somebody hasn't been telling the truth. And somebody's been avoiding the truth right here. Somebody's been hiding the truth. Trying to, avoiding a challenge. A lot of doubt. A lot of worry. Personal fear here. But wanting to move forward, you know, this is the Six of Swords, it's a time of transition. It's time to take a new approach. It's time to leave the trouble behind and get to that uh, better place. Somebody has been in a state of delay. No discipline, no willpower, no focus, fear. Now this card upright is replacing fear with faith. And there's definitely some doubt and fear here. Doubt, definitely, somebody is doubting and feeling, fearing. They're fearing uh, something. Something is coming, though. Something is coming. It's like right there. It's right in front of you, or it's it's like really close by, really, really close. Just just around the bend, or it's coming. It's something is coming. Um, you probably know that it's in sight. You probably know that something is coming. Um, you've probably been, get, been getting prepared for something. If not, you should be because something is arriving. There's an arrival here. That ship is arriving. It's like your ship is arriving. That just made sense, right? Your ship is arriving. Extreme happiness here. Growth. Rebirth. And this is a card of rebirth as well. I don't know what the heck this is. We definitely have rebirth here. So there's an opportunity to find happiness by honoring your truth. Following your heart. There's been delayed happiness well, because somebody has been getting prepared to face the truth. Somebody has delayed happiness because somebody has been getting prepared to face the truth. you got to look at that. That's exactly what that is. that is. Now the ship has arrived. There's an opportunity to speak the truth. This is... Mm -hmm. Whew, false contract of some sort. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They may have been involved in a false contract where it wasn't meant to be. And now... This has worked together on happiness with a stable, solid, secure... Establishment. I mean, home. Comfortableness. You know, this is it. It really is. You know, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness and abundance and, I mean, the whole nine yards. I mean, the Ten of Cups or the Ten of uh, Pentacles is to work together, to work as a team with somebody. There could have been a breakup. There could have been a split from a soulmate. 
because this there could have been a split from a soulmate. Now there's an opportunity to work together and build something really strong. I mean, you can't make that up. Um, starting to thunder outside. Anyhow, there's been some indecision. Worry for sure. Somebody has been really, really worried losing sleep over making this decision to face the truth. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment. There's been a lack of happiness. Somebody has definitely, it's like they they don't have faith. They've, they've lost hope that there's an opportunity to resurrect or something. I don't know what this is. Yeah, so somebody has lost hope. Um, five of Wands reversed. Reluctant. <laughs> Reluctant. That's funny. Oh my God, somebody is reluctant to go after their wish fulfillment. Why? You know, somebody has been really thinking about it, over analyzing, brooding, wanting to, but not moving forward. But they have a deep bond with somebody. This is a deep, 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 deep bond. I mean a deep one. This is like a relationship is about to become more committed. This is this is this is meant to be. <clears throat> this is an upcoming celebration as well. I think we had this in your last reading, didn't we? I think we did. I can't remember if it was your reading or not. There is a relationship, whether it's the one you're in now and you've had a fight, you've had some sort of argument that I think there's an opportunity to fix it because there's a strong bond. There is, there's a strong bond. There's a deep connection. And worry is getting in the way. Worry and anxiety, perhaps even guilt, is getting in the way of your wish fulfillment. Hmm. You're probably going to meet, if you, you could be, I mean, this is a celebration and this is a celebration. So I think that you are going to, you may, you know, you could, you could meet somebody at some sort of celebration. Or if, or it could be a reconciliation. It could be a new love or it could be a reconciliation right here. It could be either one. This is reconciliation and this is reunion. So I don't know what the hell this is. Somebody may be having a reunion with somebody. I don't know who. But um, either way, with the four of wands reversed, this is something to celebrate. Okay? And it has to do with the relationship becoming committed in some way whether it's with somebody new or somebody from me that you're with whatever there's a there's a opportunity to build something solid stable happily ever after in love that could last with somebody so that's what I got Pisces that is what I got I, think, I see your reluctance or somebody's reluctant here. Somebody is reluctant to, to do it. But that's just fear. That's worry. You know? That is. I see the fear and I see the worry, the self-doubt, the, the no hope. There's no hope that this, that, that this could happen. It's like they've given up hope. But this is headed right towards love. That's what I can see. You guys are headed right towards love. Enjoy.